Okay, back again. Um, we're going to make number four, uh, the pipe support. And uh, this one is, you know, increasing in complexity. It's saying all the fillets are 15 millimeters and the champers are 15 millimeters. And so you're like, what, what, what? You got to change it to millimeters. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll make a new part in the part studio. And then you come up to these three lines and you say workspace units. And the units we want are millimeters. Great. All right. So how do we want to make this one? Let's make this one an overall block and then machine it away, right? So we've got 100 by 50 deep by 65 tall. No problem. Piece of cake. So we say sketch on the front. A nice rectangle. And the first is 100. Oh. 100 and this one was 65. Great. So that's our overall dimensions. I'm going to extrude this 50. So hopefully you're getting into a flow and you're feeling like, okay, you know, all this stuff is becoming more and more familiar to me. Uh, turning off the planes. I'll even turn off the origin this time for a nice fresh look. Now we want to make some cuts. We can go ahead and make a, uh, we can do this in all sorts of ways. Um, I wish I kind of want to make this a little larger so that I can see it a little bit better because all those numbers are so small. Um, all right, so it's, this uh, cut in is 30 by, looks like 35. So 15 plus 15 width wise and then 50 minus 15 depth wise. So let's go ahead, we'll make two rectangles and we'll cut those out. So I'll we'll start by putting the sketch right on the top, looking at it from the top and making two rectangles, one here. And we said it was 30, enter 35, boom. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right, and let's go ahead and try to use that equals constraint great and did that do it yep great all right so now we can go ahead and uh, cut these down and they get cut 65 minus 15 so 50 strewed remove and now we want to leave it on blind and change the value here to 50 and that'll get us both of these cut down to the right height. Feeling strong. Uh, what do we do next? Well, there's lots of options. There is um, this little ridge right here. And how do we know that distance? Well, up here we have 46, right? And the overall is 50. So I think we need to make a four millimeter cut in that goes all the way down to the same level as this. Could have done it on the last sketch. Um, actually, maybe let's go in and Edit. Well, let's just make a new sketch. It's fine. Um, so, uh, hopefully, you're understanding that there are more than one ways to skin that proverbial cat. Four millimeters. Boom. And finish. Um, and the way you do it will say a lot about like your efficiency and um, just kind of how you view things. You might like to build up from the bottom like I talked with one student they like to make the plates and kind of extrude the plates up and around um, but by making a, like a big rectangular prism and then removing material you're simulating what might happen um, in real life okay so maybe let's put uh, this big cut down the middle it's 20 it's centered this whole this this rounded part is centered 25 millimeters from the bottom and then the radius of that is 12 so the diameter is going to be 24 and uh, then you can just basically make a tangent rectangle that extends the rest of the way what do I mean by that well put a sketch right on this face right? and this time we'll use a circle so we'll come down till we get the marker we'll come up and make a circle and let's start by locating and dimensioning the circle it was 12 times 2, so let's go ahead and do that, 
So 12 asterisk 2. Great. And it was how far from the bottom? 25 inches from the bottom, or 25 millimeters from the bottom. Come over there, and that's a 25. And so now we've located the bottom part, and we can make a rectangle that kind of goes like, oh, hey, don't do that. Undo, redo, um, rectangle. Lock it, drag it. And I'm going to leave it like that for a second because uh, we can use, it's tangent on this side. And you can see the little tangent popped up, but this side's obviously not tangent. So we're going to make it tangent. Click this point here and click that circle there and it moves it over. So now um, we can cut this whole thing out and it'll leave us that nice channel going all the way back. So remove through all this and this and this bam all right uh what's next we could throw in these holes or those holes let's start with these holes um the diameter is 10 millimeters and it goes through both of them so we're going to do two for one special um it's 15 inches in from the side or 15 millimeters in from the side and 15 millimeters down from the top so we put a sketch right on the face where we want the hole to be we will put a point in, but don't use that stuff this time. And we will start uh, locating the hole by clicking dimension and come back in. This should be a 15. And then from the top, it is also 15. Um, there's our, now we've located the hole. So we've got that nice point there and we're gonna use the hole tool and it's 10 inches, 10 millimeters in diameter. And it goes through all. Boom. Simple hole. Bang. Came over. Uh, we got two more holes to make. We're going to make uh, these guys. They're centered 15 from the side and 15 from the front. And they are 12 millimeter holes, not 10 millimeter holes. So let's put a sketch here. And just like last time, we're going to this time make two points. Put a point there. Put a point there. And locate the points. 15, 15, 15, 15. All right, so now they're all located. Use the hole tool and make sure to switch it to 12 instead of 10. Bam. Looking good, feeling strong. We're going to throw in some our two champers and some fillets. And we got a fillet, 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 four fillets, and two champers. Fillets, I don't think we've done any fillets in this assignment, but um, they were 15 millimeters. Yeah. So you come over here, you change the value to 15. And we got some uh, edges to pick. Start rounding the edges. And so there's four of those. And now for the chamfer, that is also 15. And we got this guy and that guy. Bam. So this part is done. Double check it. It all looks really good. And uh, this one you're changing to, what are we changing this one to? Yellow brass. So there you go. We're going to change this one to yellow brass and uh, try to answer those questions. Good luck.